class. This class is for class 8 and chapter that we will be starting with is time and work. Now this chapter few things you must have studied in class 7 but these are few points that we need to remember. There is no such formula. In fact this is a common sense sort of thing. Suppose what are the points? First point is a man's one day work is 1 upon total number of days required to complete the work. Suppose I say a man can complete a work. Suppose I say a child can complete one exercise in 12 days. For example, I say a child is there who can ch complete one chapter in 12 days. So how much, if I ask how much will he study that chapter in one day? So roughly it can be or on a normal basis or on a general basis we can say 1 upon 12 of the total chapter. Though it is very much practically possible that one day he may study uh, half of the chapter, maybe two days he may not study any chapter and then later on he will study a uh, few parts like that. But generally we consider this as two math as a mathematical tool means we take it for granted that if a child if a person is completing a work in 12 days then it is very much obvious that in one day he will be completing one twelfth of the work so from that that concept we just came to a result result you can say or formula you can say whatever so generally we call it we say it as formula but this is not a formula we can say a man's one day work is one upon total number of days required to complete the work. Suppose a wall is being made by a, a labor and he is uh, uh, taking 12 days to complete the work. So on an average or generally we can say that in one day he will be making one twelfth of the wall. Suppose I say in 15 days uh, a person is able to dig a to dig uh, is able to dig a land. It means in one day he will be digging 1 upon 15th of that land. So first thing I hope it is clear or first point is clear. If it is given, if we have to find out a man's one day work, so that will be considered as 1 upon total number of days required to complete the work. Now similarly, what we can say about the second one? Second one we can say that Total number of days required to complete the work, 1 upon 1 day's work. Suppose a person completes a work in, in 1 day he completes 1 upon 12th of work. So in general, how much time will it take to complete the whole work? It's reciprocal or simply 12 days. Means this first and second point are reciprocal of each other. A man's one day work is 1 upon total number of days required to complete the work. If you uh, take it that way cross multiplication this comes to the numerator and man's one day work will come to the denominator. So total number of days, so total number of days required to complete the work is 1 upon man's one day work. So like that. In the third point, number of days required to complete the work. How are we going to find out how many days are required to complete the work? So that is given by work to be completed. How much work is left to be completed divided by one day's work of that. But suppose I say two people were working and uh, one of them left uh, when one third work was completed. So one minus one third. One upon three work has already been completed. So how much is left? Two upon three work is left. So how here it will come work to be completed or how much work is left to be completed upon if there are two persons A and B suppose A left so B will complete means upon B's one day work. We will be discussing the questions based on these three formula. Now we move on to, ex uh, move on to the exercise. So please note down these formulae. These are very much important. These are supposed to be in your fair copy. And now we move on to exercise 11. First, uh, there is only one exercise. So I will be moving on to the exercise. Please copy down all these work uh, uh, by pausing the video. And then we move on to the exercise.
Now exercise 11, there are 14 questions I think, so we will be doing in the multiples of 2 or whichever I think will be beneficial for you, I will be doing that. I have taken first as a second question. Question reads, Tanu can do a piece of work in 24 days, Manisha can do a, the same piece of work in 30 days. Uh, how long will they take to do the work when they are working together? You have to find out. How much time will it take to finish the work when both of them are working together? So in order to find that, first we will find Tanu's one day work. So Tanu's one day work will be according to the first point 1 upon 24. Means Tanu will be completing 1 upon 24th part of the work in one day. Similarly, Manisha, Manisha's one day work will be, that will be 1 upon 30 of total work because she is completing the total work in 30 days. So it will be taken that in one day she will be completing 1 upon 30th part of the work. As Tanu is taking 24 days to complete the work, so in one day Tanu will be uh, doing 1 upon 24th of the work. This was according to the first rule that we have studied just now. Now, so if I find their together one day's work, so together their one day's work. One day's work will be adding both these 1 upon 24 plus 1 upon 30. What we are going to do? We will find their one day's work together. Now 1 upon 24 and 30. We will find out the LCM of 24 and 30. So 2 12s are, 2 15s are, 2 6s are, uh, let's say 3. Let's take 3. 3 4s are and 3 5s are. So LCM is 4 5s are 20, 20, 3 the 60, 2 are 120. LCM comes out to be 130. 120. Now 24 5s are is 120. 5 4s are 20, 30. So 5 plus 30 4s are 124. So it comes out to be 9 upon 120th of work. If both of them work together, it will be in one day they will complete 9 upon 120 of the total work. So how much time will they take to complete the work? It's reciprocal, the second law. So time taken by them to complete, to complete the work, the second law, so it means it will reciprocate, it means 120 upon 9 days, now we can solve it, 3 3 is a 9, 3 4 is a 12, 40 upon 3, 40 upon 3 days, 40 upon 3 days means, 3 1 is a 3, 10, 3 3 is a 9, 1 upon 3 days. Now 1 upon 3 days if you want to convert it into hours, 1 hour, one day is equal to 24 hours. So 1 upon 3 day will be 24 upon 3 that is 8 hours. So even you can write 13 days and 8 hours are required. That is the second question. Let's see the some other question now. Fourth question, I have taken the fourth question as the next one. They say A can complete the work in 12 days, B can complete the same work in 15 days. Then they work together for 5 days, means they are working together for 5 days and then due to some reason B is leaving. You have to find in how much time Will A finish rest of the work? Rest of the work means whatever work is left in how much time A will finish. First of all, 
we will find their one day's work together and then we will find how much work has been done in five days then we will find how much work is left after b is leaving and then we will use the third law let's see what it is so first of all we can say a and b's one day work together that will be a's one day work will be 1 upon 12 according to first rule and b's one day work will be 1 upon 15 according to the first rule and since we are finding their together work so we will add them lcm will be i think 60 12 5 is a 60 15 4 is a 60 it became 9 upon 60 of work will be done by these two A and B in one day. So A and B's five days work, five days work will be since this work was for one day. So in five days it will be this times five will multiply by five. Because in one day they are doing 9 upon 60 amount of work. So in 5 days, 9 upon 60 into 5. So 9 upon 60 into 5 times of work will be finished. So 3 3 is a, 3 2 is a, 5 4 is a. It means how much work is done? 3 upon 4 amount of work has been done. Now we will find out how much amount of work is left. So work left. Why we are finding? Because they say after 5 days B is leaving. So B was there up to 3 fourth of work was done. Now B is leaving. So when B is leaving how much amount of work is left after B leaves? So let us assume we always assume work as 1. 1 minus 3 upon 4 that has been done. So what is left? 1 upon 4 of work is left. Now, in how much time, in how much time A finishes rest of the work and rest of the work is 1 upon 4. So, in the third formula, it is given, it is given in the third rule that we have just now studied that number of days required to complete the work is work to be completed upon one day's work. So, what we will say, number of days, number of days required by A to finish, finish the leftover work, left work. That will be how much? We know the formula, amount of work that is left or work to be completed. You can say work to be completed upon A's one day work. Upon A's one day work. Because we have to find in how much time will A complete the work. So how much work is left to be completed? 1 upon 4. And what is efficiency of A? A can complete one day. If A is completing his work in 12 days, it means A's one day work will be completed as 1 upon 12th. If A is completing the work in 12 days, so in one day he will be doing 1 upon 12th uh, of the work. This can be written as 1 upon 4 divided by 1 upon 12. This can be written as 1 upon 4 into 12 upon 1. 4 3s are 12. So final value is 3 days. In 3 days, A will be completing the rest amount of work. So please note down these questions and in case you don't understand, you can send your queries to me on WhatsApp. I will be answering you. I will be giving you the solution in case any doubt. Now we move on to the next question taken fifth question this is also a different question or with a different concept they say a b and c together take eight minutes to complete a work 
A and B together take 10 minutes to complete the same work of same amount. A and C take 15 minutes to complete the same work of same amount. You have to find how much time will everyone A, B and C separately take to complete the work. So first thing we can say A, B, C's work for one minute will be 1 upon 8 according to the first law if they are saying A, B and C together can complete a work in 8 minutes. So in one minute they will complete 1 upon 8 amount of work. So we are writing A plus B plus C's there's 1 minute work. 1 minute work will be 1 upon 8. Same way let's talk about the second equation. A and B's 1 minute work will be 1 upon 10. If I subtract second equation from the first, let us say this is the first equation and let us say this is the second equation. If I subtract second equation from the first equation, A, B and A will, will, can, will get cancelled, you will be getting C's 1 minute work. So when we subtract, we will we can say A plus B plus C minus A plus B. B's statement remains the same. A plus B plus C's 1 minute work minus A plus B's 1 minute work. So there 1 minute work and that will be 1 upon 8 minus 1 upon 10. When you solve, you will get 80 as a LCM, 10 minus 8, that is 2 upon 80 or that is 1 upon 40. 40 amount of work. Now whose work is this? If you open the bracket, A plus B plus C minus A minus B, you are getting as 1 upon 40. A plus and minus cancel, B plus and minus cancel. What is left? C is left. It means this you are getting as C's 1 minute work is 1 upon 40 of total work. So how much time will C individually take to complete the work? Simply it's reciprocal, the second law. So C completes the work in 40 minutes. Now let's talk about B. So we will use the this information A plus C. So uh, you note it down. I will just rub it out. So here I will be making C has got 40 minutes. Now A and B's 1 minute work sorry A and C's 1 minute work is given how much it is given? 15. So it means in 1 minute they complete 1 upon 15 amount of work. Same thing. Now second equation will be subtracted from the first one. So we will say A plus B plus C's 1 day work minus A plus C 1 minute work minus A plus C's 1 minute work will be 1 upon 8 minus 1 upon 15. So LCM will be 120. 15 8 is a 120, 5 8 is a 40, 0 4, 12, 120. Now this will be 15 minus 8. 15 minus 8 is how much? 7 I think. 7 upon 120. So this is what this much amount of work will be done by these people. By these people means A plus B plus C minus A minus C. This total one minute work. So when you open A and A cancel C and C sorry C and C cancel. So it means you have got B's one minute work. B is completing how much? 7 upon 120 amount of work. It means that B takes how much? It's reciprocal. 
120 upon 7. It's reciprocal to complete the work. So 120 upon 7 minutes to complete the work. Now we can solve 1 upon 20 upon 7 and we can find out how much time will it take. So let us divide 120 by 7. 7 was the 7, 50 left. 7 7s are 49, 1 left. So this can be written as 17 whole 1 upon 7 minutes B is going to take. Now how to find out A's work? So what we can do? Simply we know that C takes C takes 40 minutes to complete the work. B takes 120 upon 7 minutes to complete the work. And A, B, C together take 1 upon 8 minutes. A, B and C together take 1 upon 8 minutes or uh, 8 minutes to complete the work. 8 minutes to complete the work. So if I know the value of B plus C, if I substitute the value of C and B in this equation or in the first equation, I can get the value of A. So what it is given, I am rubbing this out. So then I will be solving it. So I will rub the second part, this part. Now in this what it is, we know that B is taking 120 upon 7 minutes and C is taking 40 minutes. So C alone, C's 1 minute work will be 1 upon 40 and B's 1 minute work will be 7 upon 120. Now A plus B plus C's 1 minute work. So we have to find now only A is left. So A's 1, one minute work plus B's 1 minute work that is 7 upon 120 plus C's 1 minute work that is 1 upon 40 is equal to 1 upon 8. According to this statement, what it is? A plus B plus C's 1 minute work is 1 upon 8. So A's 1 upon, A, sorry, A's work we don't know. B's work is 1 minute work is 7 upon 120. So in place of B's 1 minute work, we have substituted 7 upon 120 amount of work. C's 1 minute work is 1 upon 40. So 1 upon 40. Now you solve it. So A's 1 minute work will be 1 minute work will be 1 upon 8 minus 7 upon 40. Why? These two things, these two values go to the other side. They will change their sign. They will become negative. So minus of this and minus of this. Now when you take the LCM, LCM will be 120. So 8 15 is 120 I hope. 8 1 is 8. 4 is 40. 8 5 is 40. Minus 120 divided by 120 is 1. 1 into 7 is 7. Minus 40 divided is 3. So 7 minus 3 is 7 and 3 is 10. 15 minus 10 is 5 upon 120. It means if you solve 5 1s are 5, 5 2s uh, are 10, 5 4s are 20. It means 1 upon 24th amount of work will be done by A in 1 minute. So time taken by A, time taken by A to complete, to complete the work will be Reciprocal of 120 upon 24, that is 24 minutes is the final value. So A completes in 24 minutes, B completes in 120 upon 7 minutes and C completes in 40 minutes. This is the final value. This was a big question. You have to check it. Uh, please watch it at least two times. Then you will be able to understand. Now we'll see. Uh, okay. So uh, let's uh, this one. Uh, we have discussed up to question number five. In the next class, we'll be discussing the 
rest amount of questions i expect everybody to practice this is a very new thing to you all and i want that everybody should practice these questions by the time stay home stay safe stay blessed please like subscribe and share thank you